Hey guys, welcome to this video, my name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over something a little different to the last few uh, sort of videos and tutorials. Basically in this video I'm going to be talking about my experiences with Blender and my sort of, uh, I guess, learning career through it and sort of what I did with that. So if you'd be keen to listen to that, uh, feel free to stick ahead, otherwise there's lots of other tutorials and stuff on my channel if you want to go ahead and check those out. Now in the background here I just have me uh, doing some modeling uh, I think a platform for one of the games I was making a while ago. So anyway, a uh, bit about me. I've been using Blender for about three years now, two years of which have been on the game engine side of it. So you don't need a massively large amount of time to uh, use the game engine. Well, it's pretty much just how much time you put into learning it and how much time uh, you sort of invest in that. So when I was starting out in the Blender game engine, um, I think the most helpful thing for me was, uh, well, almost ironically, um, YouTube tutorials. So apart from that, I wouldn't just go ahead and go into YouTube and search up uh, what game engine tutorials, Blender game engine or something, because that was almost too broad. And then any videos that were on that, like the basics of the game engine or something like that, for me personally, they didn't really work. I mean, it was cool, you add bits and pieces here, but there was no proper goal at the end of the video showing you, uh, I don't know, some sort of proper result. Uh, maybe the most I got was a moving cube or something. Now, if you are trying to learn a uh, well, game engine of any type, really, um, the best thing I find to do is to have a proper goal at the end of it, whether it just be a really small minigame, uh, I don't know, a remake of, say, Space Invaders or something, or even just, um, I don't know, Tetris, anything like that. As long as you have some sort of goal at the end of it that you can work towards, then it sort of becomes a little bit easier and, I guess, less daunting to do the task in general. Now I think not too long after that I went ahead and joined blenderartist.org so if you haven't already I highly recommend if you're learning Blender or want to sort of know how to do anything definitely 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 go ahead to blenderartist.org uh, they have an entire forum section I think five different sort of subcategories just for the game engine itself um, and there's, well, thousands and thousands of resources there. There's team projects, there's finished games that have been made recently, there's currently working projects that are being updated daily, and then there's a game engine support and discussion forum, so if you have any problems or anything at all that you need, you pretty much post something there, and every time I've used it, at least within a day, someone has replied uh, with some sort of answer. Again, it was one of the most helpful things for me, learning Blender. Now one last thing that really helped me out with uh, learning how to use the game engine itself was the Blender Game Making Challenge. Basically what this is, is uh, a competition that runs for a week, everyone tries to make a game based on a theme, and then at the end of it, everyone plays each other's games, you rate them, and then the winner gets to host the next competition. The great thing is, at the end of the whole competition, most people will post the blend files of their games, and the great part about that is, you can open them up and you can see how to put the entire game together and you can learn how each part sort of works and then use that to apply to your learning for your own projects and then sort of see how that can all fit together. Now if you are starting out in any type of game engine don't uh, set your goals or your limits too high. Many many people including me try and do the same thing and then you just end up with a blend file in the back of your hard drive that hasn't even been started um, just because everything crashes and goes wrong. So uh, if you are starting out, definitely go ahead for something like a really small mini game or a remake of a simple game, but don't try and go ahead and make it, the, I don't know, the next Call of Duty or something. So try and stay away from the massively online multiplayer shooters while you're still learning the game engine, but then once you get your sort of grips on how every part of it works, then maybe you want to go ahead and expand yourself uh, to the wider horizons. So that brings me to the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I thought I might post something slightly different to the normal tutorials and stuff on the channel. If you did find it helpful, maybe let me know in the comments or with a like on the video. Uh, let me know if you want more of this, I don't know, just random talking. But apart from that, I think that'll be it for this video. So again, hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.